Here in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the new GNSS offset uh, measurement function. Uh, so the first thing you'll need to do, um, just on the right hand side, is tap into uh, standard measure to change your measure mode uh, to offset measurement. And then you'll take uh, your first observation uh, for the location that you're wanting to offset from. And this just brings you into uh, the offset measurement page. Uh, so for this example here, I'll just do a distance um, angle offset. Uh, so you'll see uh, the observed uh, point here in the offset point. And then for the direction uh, method, this will just be manual entry. And uh, the direction uh, that I'm going to want to input is I'll want to uh, use the um, the direction from 2790 and 2791 just to um, retain that direction for the offset. Uh, so I'll input 2790. And then once I hit enter, um, it'll just show me um, the direction uh, between those two points. And then um, the distance that I'm going to want to offset from is one meter and I'll just leave the vertical um, distance since I don't want to do a vertical shift on uh, the calculated point there and I do um, want to just go into my code list and set this as a fence post offset shot uh, since that is what I'll be uh, computing is a fence post um, that is offset and you'll see on the right hand side there, you'll see an update um, with the red dot to show uh, the computed point uh, from the reference point there uh, for you to do a quick visual check. Uh, if everything looks uh, fine, just hit the save point. And this just saves uh, the computed point uh, to the database there. And here I'll just demonstrate uh, the two points uh, method within the offset um, measurement mode. Uh, so offset measurement mode is still set, so I'll just take uh, the first observation. And I've um, already switched into uh, the two points tab here. And um, I'll just switch it to point two, since I already have point one stored. And if I just uh, line myself up uh, with the building, uh, there and then take point two uh, just to set uh, the line and you'll see uh, once we take that um, second observation you'll see point one and two uh, with the line there and if we just scroll down uh, here's where you can change uh, your offset method so if you want to do a straight uh, perpendicular or distance distance uh, you have those three options there uh, but for this example I'll just use a perpendicular offset and it'll be a one meter offset um, applied to the left of the line there and I'll leave the vertical offset um, at zero since I don't want to shift in the elevation and if you just uh, take a look on the right, just to get a uh, visual uh, display of the computed point uh, there, uh, just to get a quick visual check, uh, you can do so. And if everything looks um, as expected, just hit the save point. And that'll save uh, that offset point to the database there. And that is the uh, two points uh, GPS offset. Thanks for taking interest uh, in this video.